when the importance of forest was understood by the Britishers, this is the time that the conflict started between the villagers and the foresters because both of them had different requirements and needs and different aspirations also from the forest. When we talk of the villagers, they just wanted fuel, fodder and leaves from the forest. So, those kind of plantation or trees to be grown which could provide them with three of these. When we talk of the foresters, the foresters wanted timber for railways and for making ships. That is, they wanted hard wood trees, tall, straight, long trees. So, that was the first conflict which came between the villagers and the foresters as to what should be grown in the forests. Well, you know that the villagers had been depending on forests for almost everything. When we talk about their needs which were met from the forest, it was the fruits and tubers were eaten by the villagers that is providing them with food. Herbs which they collected from the forest acted as medicines for them. So, it looked after their health. The bamboo was used for making fences, for making baskets, umbrellas that is bamboo is actually acting as a shield for the villagers. The dried scooped out gourd was used as a water bottle for the, for, for the villagers. That means another requirement being met by the forests. The leaves which were collected from various trees, they were tied in such a way that they made beautiful plates, cups, that is even the utensils were met from the forest itself. Some of the creepers made lovely ropes and the oil of course was gained or they got it from the mahua tree. So, when we talk of oil, utensils, medicines, when we talk of food to be eaten or the shield that the bamboo provided, so forests were like gods for the villagers from where they earned their livelihood and they could meet their day to day requirements so easily from the nature's gift. Well, when all these rules started, then of course, there were so many problems which cropped up for the villagers. The new forest act did not allow them to get into the forest and did not allow them to actually fell the trees, graze their cattle, which meant a setback for the villagers. So, whether it was felling of trees or grazing of cattle or hunting or fishing, everything became illegal. That means their occupation was endangered. Their livelihood became very, very difficult. Now, when all this started, certain people started collecting still fuel wood from the village secretly or you can say by stealing. When such a thing happened, they had to now bribe the forest guards who would otherwise not allow them to go inside the village. So, all that was easily and available free of cost to, now, to them now had to be obtained by bribing. Now, the women were the worst affected because they were the ones who used to collect the fuel wood from the forest. But now, whenever they were caught collecting fuel wood, it was the police constable and the forest guards who would actually harass them. So, life became very, very difficult for the villagers when the forest laws were enacted in India.